Let's go further ex exploring in this direction during the daytime when I actually, actually see stuff. Let's just go back to that cave. I mean, again, there's really not that much to do at this point. Pretty much have all the resources I need, did all the stuff I needed to do outside of cheese making. Let's go back here, go into that cave. Let's see what's down there. Because there are other resources besides the stuff we found. Like the chromium we found in the cave is useless. There's a lot of useless resources in the game at this point in time, but it'll probably have a use later on. Okay, here's the trader. Go through our tunnel. I did say we would look at it during the night time, just to see what it's like. Yeah, it could use like some light over here. But I think I'm out of lanterns at this point. I don't feel like making more. But it's a nice tunnel. It's not just fast, but it also gives us like a landmark one gigantic landmark all, all the way back to base so that we can go there navigate using it right back into the cave we go okay it is still april 4 Let's just explore in this direction. We're fairly deep, but not that deep. We shouldn't be seeing any bells. Or some really strong drifters. Alright, let's go down here. Just light the way. I'm hearing drifters nearby. There's one right here. Let's use the copper spear. That reminds me, I have a copper spear. Somehow managed to find that in one of the ruins. Yeah, come here, you. That copper spear does a lot of damage. But for some reason, we can't make like a steel spear or an iron spear or something like that. It's like they're trying to discourage us from using spears late in this game. But you can use like iron and steel arrowheads. Steel iron and steel arrows, but those things disappear. Or at least I can't find the stats on them. Like maybe the flint arrows, like have a greater chance of disappearing than something like iron and steel arrows, but don't really want to test it. Or maybe I should. Maybe I should. Like, that's another thing we can do. 
So maybe we should like... Oh, here's some locusts. Here's a locust nest. A lot of locusts. Now, do I really want to go down there? Nah. Let's go back. Let's go down in this hole over here. That's a very deep hole. Very, very deep hole. Let's go down there. So we're going to burn all of our ladders just to see what's in this hole. Hi there. You know what? It's hard to break into that area now that there's drifters there, so let's get out of here. What I'd like to do, let's go make some arrows. Just to see what that's like. Again, I didn't see any stats for the iron steel, steel arrows so not exactly sure what the disappearance rate is or how the disappearance of that uh, ammo even works yeah so let's just go back make stuff in here no wait did it I plant some trees near the path I really should get rid of those and I didn't finish this section of the path maybe we can finish it later maybe this will grow in about nine days so whatever Okay, I do have a lot of flax, so that's not an issue for creating the bow. What I need is the arrowheads. I have plenty of iron and steel ingots. So, uh, where's the flax? It's in here. Now we need the flax twine. Yeah, here's the bow. Probably should make another one. And maybe another one. Because this doesn't have that much durability. And I'm pretty sure there are no more bows in the game other than a crude bow, which we cannot craft. And that's weaker than the regular bow. Let's also eat. these ingots oh put them here so we still have 10 steel ingots this can be made into okay where are you yeah, steel arrowheads we can make steel arrows but we do need feathers all right then so let's go let this up 
but we need fuel. At this point, I'm just trying to find stuff to do because I've already done everything. Oh, it was just that one thing that didn't have the charcoal. All right, so let's light this up. And let's just make all of these iron blooms into iron ingots. Oh, we don't have iron ingots anymore. All right. So let's just get on that. Now I didn't kill any many chickens, but I did keep their feathers. So we should have like maybe five feathers somewhere here or three all right then so I do need to check this let's see if how durable the steel arrows are, are like how often do they disappear and this is going quite fast it's very windy And let's just add this. You know what? Let's get two more. Just so we can fit that in here. I haven't exactly worked on arrows. Like I've made flint arrows before, but I've never made like any metal arrows. Just light this one up now. Maybe I should make this go fat. You know what? Let's take this off our offhand. We can definitely make this go faster. It's definitely easier turning the blister steel into steel ingots. I guess it's already been processed. We take off all the slag when we make the iron ingots. And it's 4.32 and the sun is already coming up. Hmm. Must be springtime. Okay, so here's some... I mean, look at this. We have a choice between six arrowheads and nine arrowheads like why I don't understand this game uh okay so guess we have to make very efficient use of these voxels or something Oh, I didn't want to do that. So this is a bit tricky.
Okay, let's just get the next Iron Bloom on here. Okay, we're gonna need to heat this up some more. Wait, can we even do this with one ingot? Guess I'll have to be like really tricky with this or something. Ah, there we go. Like, we have to be, like, really tricky with this. Alright, let's keep this going. Okay, one voxel to spare. Now, I should probably check out the six arrowhead version just to see what that's like. I mean, there's got to be a reason for it. Right? I mean, this looks kind of like uh, you can make this with a plate. Just light this up. I probably should continue putting iron blooms in here. And of course, the charcoal. Let's produce the version with six steel arrowheads. Let's see what that's like. Pretty much the same thing, except it's way easier to make. I mean, what the hell was I expecting? Like, it just seems like a waste to not use the nine arrowhead version. Yeah, this is definitely a waste of resources. I don't know why that's in the game. Someone please explain to me why this is in the game. That gets a huge waste of resources. But anyway, let's go make some arrowheads. We can only make three of them. Let's go fire this thing. Does 2.5 piercing damage and this adds 3 piercing damage. So like 5.5 piercing damage overall. And I'm just going to finish this and we'll head out. I'll keep the arrowheads in my inventory. Like just in case we find some chickens I can like take them out, get some more feathers. But someone, please explain to me why there is a version for six arrowheads and a version for nine arrowheads. Because, like, there's no point in having 
this version with six arrowheads. There's just no point. It's a waste of resources. And I guess I can leave that where it is. I just want to finish this. It's just so we don't waste the fuel. Like, I really don't feel like making another charcoal pit at this point. Okay, we're almost done here. I'm just focusing on the slag because we can take out multiple voxels with one hit. If it's on the same level. Okay, two more. And then we're done. And then once this is done, we'll head out. We need to explore in that direction over there. Okay, I think that's it. Let's put this away. We can also put our torches here. Let's put away all of this stuff. Like, we definitely do not need that many bows. And we don't need this flax. Uh, let's put the bows here. Definitely don't need this charcoal either. Let's put it like this. And we'll try to burn up the iron shears somewhere along the way. Probably should munch on some vegetables as well. That's falling behind. We do have a lot of these vegetables expiring. 19 days. They are still fresh. Let's just eat these parsnips. And get rid of this stack here. It's not that much anyway. Oh, we do need to eat. I'll just fill up this bowl just so we can have this ready but I do want to eat these parsnips here I'm gonna take eight of these boards just so I can have a storage with me yeah let's go not just let these continue growing. This is ready to be harvested, but I won't do anything with it just yet. How are you going? So you're at 95%. So by the time we come back, that should be at 99%. And then we'll have another round of steel ingots or blister steel. So I'm hoping 1.15 is going to add a lot more content. 
Like, I'm really not sure how anyone can play for like an entire in-game year and not like do everything. Well, I guess I didn't technically do everything, but you know, like give us more content, more stuff to do. Maybe give us an end game. Uh, stupid ew. And then I'll go down a hole again later tonight. Oh, there's another ew up there. And this is where the path ends. We'll go this way. And we'll explore in that direction over there, just so we can avoid the mountainous area. Hello, raccoon. Your weight is good. Okay, so all of these animals are getting back their weight. I'm hoping they'll put in like an industrial age or something like that. And then we can get some guns going. Guns and ammo. The lead will finally be useful. Oh, come on. Creature weight is low. Okay, some creatures are good, some are low. Oh, 10 arrows. Alright, well, get rid of this grass here. And I do need to get more branches going just so we can use up all of those feathers like there's just so many carrots around here now the reason I don't pick up the carrots or their seeds is because it uses Hey, uses potassium, which is used for the flax, and I'd rather use the flax for the... I'd rather use flax than carrots. Okay, so I still have two arrowheads. And there's a lot of flax over here. Like, we haven't exactly explored this area. Like, this is very far away from base. And we still have crops growing here. And that's... And we have ruins we didn't explore yet. Like, forage? No. Let's not get that. There's another fire clay deposit. This is ore. You know what? I'll take the ore. Oh, look! Copper nuggets! Could have used that. 